clog FPV. Even with the COVID-19 pandemic going on here in the U.S., the FAA has not slowed down in the implementation of remote ID for UAS. The current plan is to start rolling it out in 2021. I'll link below. Um, also in May, the FAA advanced the Unmanned Aircraft System Traffic Management, or UTM, proposal. Um, Alien Drones has a good video on how that ties into remote ID. Um, link below. Um, I think if you're interested in the topic, it's a good video that goes over UTM and how um, it plays into remote ID. Uh, to be honest, I really don't think things are looking good for us UAS fixed wing FPV hobbyists when it comes to our over 53,000 comments on the flaws in the current remote ID proposal. So segue into the DJI based TransTech Beetle HOM 2.5 inch quad. I'm very interested in the sub 250 gram quads. It is the one compromise FAA has given us. So in the box, it's packaged real nice. Um, you get the TransTech Beetle. Um, you get some prop guards. I'm not gonna be using the prop guards. Uh, you do get some spare DJI normal antennas. Um, if you wanted to swap out the uh, factory ones um, that don't have quite as good a range, but are quite small, um, you could do that. Um, you also get a set of props that are in here. I'm not gonna open that up. You get um, some uh, spare canopies in different colors. Um, I'm just gonna leave the current canopy on. Some people might like this clear one here. And um, you get some screws and some more screws. So in this package, you get a battery strap, you get a Immortal T Crossfire um, TPU antenna mount, if you wanted to go that direction. Um, it does have a spare UART-1 um, that you could add a third-party receiver, um, like a Crossfire receiver. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be flying with the DJI controller. Um, you do get a Allen wrench here. And then um, what I will be using, uh, there is a, get it into focus, a TPU um, DJI camera um, cover um, protector, um, just to give it added protection for the DJI camera. So I will be putting that on. So quickly going through the specs of the Beetle here. Um, it is 130 millimeter frame size. Uh, the weight, they're stating 131 grams. I'm weighing in at, I'll show you up above here. Um, it does have the TransTech F411 HD flight controller in here. It's soft mounted. And then it has the TransTech 25 amp BL Heli S 4-in-1 ESC on the back here. Um, the motors are TransTech's um, they're 1106 4500 kV motors. Um, the bottom plate is three millimeters. Um, it does have a programmable lead strips. You can see it up, up above here, um, which is uh, nice if you're into um, programmable LEDs. Um, mine did come with the HQ2525-3 uh, props, so I'll be using those. Um, the antenna here are uh, TransTech's own antennas. Um, they're not going to have quite the range, but I'm not going to be flying this real long distance, and I like the compact size. Um, so this thing looks like it'd be pretty robust in a um, crash. So as far as battery sizes, they're recommending, uh, you know, 3S 750 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's stating that you should get about seven minutes of flight time. Um, I'll probably be running uh, the recommended 4S 650 milliamp hour um, battery um, for this thing. I think that's probably uh, what I'll be using on it. So next I'm going to show you a quick flight and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on the TransTech Beetle.
So here are my thoughts on the TransTech Beetle. The pros? Number one, it's extremely fun to fly. I think that's because it is small, compact, and very responsive. Um, it is well below the 250 gram weight. So if you're interested in getting below that, this is definitely an option. Uh, also, because it has some weight to it, it does well with light park freestyle. You can throw it around pretty good. Also, the flight times are good, around five minutes, and running with the JESC 48 kilohertz uh, firmware on the ESCs, I was getting about five and a half minutes. Also, the antennas worked out surprisingly well, even at 200 milliwatts. I didn't see any noticeable difference between the stock DJI antennas and the TransTac antennas. I'm sure if I were to fly out further than I normally fly, I would notice the degradation, but uh, um, where I fly, it uh, was plenty adequate for what I do and my needs. And then lastly, for a two and a half inch quad, I think it does take decent footage with the DJI Air unit. So let's go over the cons. It's probably not something you would take to a bando. I think the arms would potentially break if you ran into some concrete or metal. Uh, but for park flying, I think it's uh, totally fine. Uh, I did um, have a problem getting JESC RPM filtering to work even after following the recommended settings that I saw posted in RC groups. Um, if you have uh, gotten yours to work, please let me know in the comments below. I even tried uh, Jazz Maverick ESC firmware and still no joy. I think because of that, it would have been nice if they would have had a 32-bit ESC, uh, 4-in-1 ESC. Um, also, it would have been nice if they included an F7 processor like the iFlight DC3. I know TransTech has come out with an F7 flight controller, so maybe we'll see a second version uh, with the 32-bit ESCs, um, which I think would be a good upgrade for this. But other than that, I really give the TransTech Beetle HOM 2.5 two thumbs up. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you will be asking which is better, the TransTech Beetle or the iFlight DC3, and I would have to say it depends on what you're looking for. I think the TransTech Beetle is more responsive than the DC3. It's a little more fun to fly because it's a little more compact in size, uh, which I like. Uh, but if you're looking for something that's gonna take uh, better cinematic um, video, uh, with the DJI Air unit, I would have to say the DC3 is a better option. With the flat deck, it's a lot easier to mount a Insta360, for example, if you wanted to go that route. And I think the three inch prop really smooth out any micro vibrations coming off the motors. And then also, uh, if the DC3, which I like about it, it has upgraded electronics with the F7 flight controller and 32-bit ESCs. So um, again, if you're looking for something that's uh, better at taking video, I would say the DC-3. If you're looking for something that is super fun to fly, um, it's probably the TransTech Beetle. So with that, um, I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel.